Okay, uh, one of the best lifts you can use to bring up your squat and your deadlift is going to be the glute ham raise. So when you set yourself up, you want to make sure that your heels are going to come against the back plate. Your knees should be probably about two to three inches behind the pad, and your legs should be straight. So as you curl up, you're going to push actually the ball of the foot into the plate so it drives you into the pad. Because if I let my heel drop back, I'm just going to slide right down. So you got to shove with the ball of the foot just to stay in position. Lower yourself straight. Keep your abs tight. You don't want to lean and arch with the back. It's not a lower back movement. It's a glute ham raise. So glutes, hamstrings, lower back is not in the name. So you shouldn't be using it. So uh, typically before or after a training session for uh, some extra work, you do 30 to 50 reps. Uh, split out over probably three to five sets. Uh, that's on top of any work you would do during the actual workout. So uh, if your goal is to break up your hamstrings, you need to be doing a lot of extra work on top of what you're already doing in your workout. Uh, and if you need to, you can add some band resistance. So you just choke that right around the base of the rack, loop it over the back of the neck, and just flex yourself all the way up so that way you gotta hold that much harder against the tension coming from the band. All the way down with some control. Drop it off. But you want to make sure that you don't go too thick on the band. You should be able to still keep the reps at probably 10. Um, if you can't, then the band you're using is too heavy. So, that's it.